like how this place was built in the first place by the monks who had nothing. Come to pray and to offer up to God in what was the edge of the world. And then come on to see the lighthouse keepers, they managed to build something as remarkable. Skellig is one of two UNESCO World Heritage Sites here in Ireland. We're very proud of that. And of course we have world-renowned guides who give the UNESCO experience to visitors from all over the world. Skelligs not only offer an important part of tourism for South and West Kerry, but this is an important part of the tourism offering for the entire island of Ireland. We want to make sure that our visitors have an enjoyable experience, that they're safe. We are making progress, but progress is slow. But progress has to be slow in an environment like this, because it is difficult. Actually, it's spectacular. spectacular, it's spectacular yeah. All these would have been originally they were all plastered and painted white. You know, here in the upper lighthouse and in the lower lighthouse, we're looking at two pieces of infrastructure that really are uh, something to behold. You know, the mind boggles as to how they were built. And then they fell into disrepair over periods of time. And now the Office of Public Works looking to see how it can be brought back into life as a place where visitors that are visiting uh, the island here in Skelligvihil can come to see what it was that the lighthouse keepers, first of all, planned in terms of the mariners and the people that were going to see and to make it safe for them because this was, in many cases, the last piece of Ireland that a lot of people saw. Is it, it's just the two sites we have, isn't it? So this is the upper lighthouse here. The other one was finished and opened in 1823 and they started this in 1824 and had it up and running by 1826. Was this area blasted off to create these sites? Yes. Yep. Because there's a sharp face there. There is, and the, the top half of that's probably natural, the bottom bit has been blasted. If that decided to fall, you were gone like? Yeah. Our ambition and our goal is to make sure that we hand it over to the next generation uh, with the story told by people who know how best to look after these islands. The damaged ones will have to be completely new because the structure mm. relies on each one. It all relies on that one. They're like rotten teeth. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It is beautiful though, isn't it? Isn't it? They had a school teacher and this was probably her accommodation here. There was a window here, but it's a very small little room. The accommodation for the teacher was meagre, but the vast majority of people weren't even allowed to go to school. That's the outer terrace which we did in the South Peak. And how do you even get up there? Up the other side. It's all drilled and ropes. We were up there. You'd be up there 12 hours a day. A headache looking up at us. There is no other public servant in the island of Ireland that is working in a place like this. They're doing it over six and seven weeks at a time, over many years. As part of that, they live here on the Skellig. And as minister, you know, I have a responsibility to make sure that they're looked after. So the lower lighthouse, which was built as part of a pair in the early part of the 19th century, we now see as an opportunity to provide our future and current staff and the accommodation that we want to give them, we want to improve it with something better than what they have already. Many people potentially would it accommodate, you know? Or? Uh, probably about 12, I think. Will it? Yeah. Uh, For our maintenance crews and our guides, this will transform what it is to work for the OPW. It will. It will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope I'm around to see it. Jesus, they don't move me out of the OPW that quick. <laughs> <laughs> and that will create the next generation of stories to add to the stories of the monks who came here first. And then we moved on to the Victorians who came to offer sanctuary to people who were going away to sea. And now uh, to people who are going to live here to offer a story and a narrative to people who are ultimately going to come uh, as tourists from all over the world. This is a 19th century site, um, but it needs to have a future. We have several government partners, including the local authority as well, who have incorporated Skellige Hill into their development plan.
this is a really important asset to the island of Ireland as a whole and we know that we want to invest in it but we will do it in a sustainable manner. The OPW is really privileged. We as custodians we will hand it on in, in a much better way uh, than, we've, than we've inherited it and that's ultimately our ambition.